welcome back to the channel. First, I would like to say a big thank you to Mr. Taco Stacks for putting the link to my channel in one of his past videos this past week and for giving a shout out. It's greatly appreciated um, because of him. I've had all of you wonderful people come over to my channel and watch my videos and like and subscribe and I cannot thank you enough. It really means a lot and I hope that I can continue to bring you good videos with good content and show you some great finds. So thank you again, Taco Stacks, and thank you to all of you um, for liking and subscribing. Um, I really appreciate it. First today, I thought I would do a quick recap of some of the items that I purchased at the flea market last weekend. Um, I had bought two boxes. One box had the old newspapers in it and then another box had some old photos. I had gone through the photos before um, and I made a video but it, it wasn't good. The lighting was bad. I'm like, oh, I have to redo it. That's one of the things with learning with YouTube and how to do you know, how to film and how to edit. It's always a learning process. So I appreciate the feedback, comments, any great suggestions that you guys can give on what would make these videos better, um, you know, pass it along. Also, if any of you have any recommendations for some good lighting, because currently I can only tape inside during the day and it'd be nice if at night I could do you know, recaps such as this. So if you have any good recommendations for external lighting, put that in the comments too and let me know. So, let's see. All right, so I thought I would show you some of the items. Um, this way you can kind of see as I'm going through. If you remember this one, which I love. The, it's a family with a great scene behind them. Looks like somewhat like a water scene. Um, the awesome mustache, the little boy in his outfit, and then the lady all dressed up with her umbrella and her fancy hat and gloves. Let's see. If you can see. With best wishes, Bessie Bauer. So we have a name that we're gonna have to look up. This is a tinted photo postcard, real photo postcard. I love real photo postcards on eBay there. If you look up RPPC, you'll see a lot of them. Some of them have great images, ones that have images of animals, you know, dogs, cats, if they're even more exotic, like a bird. So I guess birds aren't too exotic, but I guess the weirder the animal that a person has a photo with, the, the, the better off the picture is. A nice wedding photo with her lovely dress and the flowers. And her shoes look like they've been tinted a little bit. And this was from Brooklyn, New York. Someone had commented in one of my previous videos that the people back then looked so much better, or maybe it was just the black and white. I, I agree. I don't know, there's just something about, I think the clothing, the hairstyles, just makes them look better. Now this is a photo that I purchased, not from the same vendor that I purchased this box from. The guy kept saying, oh, these are, this is at the Playboy Mansion. This is the Playboy Mansion, the Playboy Bunnies. And I'm thinking it's, it's not. <laughs> these are most likely, you know, Playmate cocktail waitresses. You can see she has a pens over here to take your order. She has some type of ribbon on. And it looks like in the back, you can't see it, but it looks like they're in like a lounge, like maybe at a casino. I don't think this was taken at the Playboy Mansion. I think the guy was tying a little bit of a, a tall tale, but this should sell. People do collect vintage um, Playboy items. Look at this woman. She's just... She has great waves in her hair, the fur, which now is not really that much in style anymore. People are against furs, wearing furs, unless they're fake furs. But back then, that was all the rage. And this was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Buddy and family. Some of these photos are damaged, like you can see in this one. So they do have water damage. This looks like it might even have some mold on it. Oop. I think that's that Bessie again. 
She looks familiar. I love the curtains though. You have the awesome like art deco style curtains with the holders. Even the wicker chair is pretty nice. She doesn't look too happy. And I think that's her again. Wait, that can't be Bessie. With best wishes. No, it is. It's probably Bessie. Bessie Bauer. That's a nice dress. And she has on some really neat jewelry too, if you can see. But photos like this, unfortunately, because they're damaged, there's not much that I can do with them. I wouldn't put these online because they're, they're just not gonna sell. Souvenir of Shay Ami. This looks like it is a restaurant menu. The home of the revolving bar, Buffalo, New York. It's not a menu, but it is a photo taken at the restaurant. This was common back then. It's not really that common now because people can just take out their phone and take a picture of themselves sitting there. But you know, back then people didn't have that. So they would take this home as a souvenir. Who's this? This might be Bessie again. She's reading a magazine called Photoplay Magazine. I'm guessing that might be for the theater. Powder Portraits, Philadelphia. Here's another hand tinted, but again, water damage, Bessie Bauer. So we'll have to do some research and find out who this Bessie Bauer is. Here we have Bessie again, and maybe her sister. I love their shoes, the Victorian style, almost Mary, Poppin, Mary Poppin-esque shoes. Taken May 1916, Brooklyn, New York. So I'm guessing that's probably Bessie and her relative. And here we have another one. Maybe when they're a bit older. Again, these are photo postcards. She's lovely. Another photo postcard. And this looks like a lady in the theater. And boats. This looks like it might be on the boardwalk at Atlantic City. That was another popular thing to do back then. AC was all the rage. Let's see. New ambassador, I was wrong. Bauer Walker, wait, boardwalk. It says something boardwalk on there. It I'm not sure if it's AC, maybe even like Con could Con Coney Island have a boardwalk? I've never been to Coney Island, so I don't know. Bessie and her family, good old Bessie. There she is again, Detroit, Michigan. So she definitely had a, a look to her and she's holding another, I'm guessing it's one of those photo play magazines. So I think perhaps she was interested in the theater. We'll have to do some research on Bessie. This would be great for Valentine's Day. This boy holding the flower, um, is he holding? The roses that were hand tinted. Let's see, bullfighting. I think the guy, when I had purchased the box, he had mentioned it, that there were bullfighting photos in here. Now some of these are just your ordinary, everyday photos. You have a little baby in their crib outside. Rooftop photos were also very common then. A lot of people took photos outside up on top of the roof. You know, just out in the snow. When I first saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, it's Charles Manson because that's what it looks like. But it's not. Um, these are pretty neat. These were in that envelope that was marked with an address. I believe the guy that I thought was Charles Manson is actually this guy. But I thought this was a pretty cool photo. So I'm going to look up the address that was on the envelope and also the name of the person and then see if there's any history about them. But I think that's a pretty neat photo. 
This is a military photo. Maybe when you first wake up in the morning. The bathing suits of the times. More Bessie Bauer. There she is again. Good old Bessie. With her photo playbook. She was all, all about that life. We'll definitely have to look her up. 160 Star Street, Brooklyn, age 19. Long Island picture. So this was taken in Long Island. Again, you have the fake scene in, in the back, which was common for the times. Let's see. So here's this lady. Looks like she's just on top of the moon with lots of good luck to Bessie. And then there's a signature from June. So this was probably some type of actress, you can assume, in the theater, since Bessie seemed to enjoy the theater. It has, is it Barry? Barry Rocky? I'll have to look, look that up. And here's another one. Your one of the sweetest girls I've met. Don't, I don't know what else she's saying. Loretta Bauer. Waspy and Loretta Bauer. I'm not sure. So maybe this was a relative and Bessie wanted to be like her. I don't know. We'll see what story we can come up with. I have those other photos, but I'm not sure where they were. These were popular back then, and they're popular again now. The photo booth photos. Except now you can rent them and have them at your weddings and all sorts of things. They're not the same though. Looks like Bessie may have found love, because that looks like her. Now here, I was right. This is one, the back it says Atlantic City, the Ritz Studio. Bessie and probably her sister. So you can see there's lots. There's another one from the bullfighting. This album, unfortunately, did have some damage. It was another theater one. She's dressed in a nice outfit. Mother, Oof. look at that. I love her frock though, that's pretty nice. But the, this little album has so much damage. It must have gotten hit by water. But look at these photos. Again, it looks like the theater. There is a sign back here, so I'll have to look and see what that is. But they're dressed up. Here's a, like a chorus line. Uh, let's see. You can see that. And these are glued. So even if there, there had been writing on the back, you're not going to know. This guy kind of looks like the one guy from Laurel and Hardy. I always get confused on which one's which. I used to watch that show all the time. He's like that skinny little guy from there. There he is again. more. So this type of album, I would probably take this to the flea market and sell it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I can't cut these out. You don't want to cut them out because you're just going to cut out the pictures on the other side. But someone will, someone will want these. It's a neat piece of history. And then if I can look at if I can find, I'll get my magnifying glass out and look up what that sign says. I might be able to put, you know, a place with these photos. Sorry. Here's some more photos on the beach. Woods Theater. So that's one thing that I could look up. You know, Google Woods Theater and see where that is. My guess it is somewhat New York. You know, maybe around Coney Island. And that's another common thing. They would take their pictures 
by the lifeguard boats, which people still do today. So this box had a mixture, you know, some were in decent shape. There's Bessie again, others not so much. There's Buddy Bauer, so we have a Bessie and a Buddy, 1930. And unfortunately, that's what happens with pictures. They get put up in attics. They get put down in basements. And you just never know what's going to happen to them. But it's always nice to save them when you can. We somehow missed this guy. Anyway, that about wraps it up for the recap and going through these photos. I hope you enjoyed this. You never know what you're going to get when you buy a box of old photos. Some can be really good. You know, condition is everything, but there were some good finds. We did find Miss Bessie Bauer, so I'll have to do more research, go on Ancestry.com and see if I can find more about this lady and about her life. Again, thank you to all for liking and subscribing. Thank you to Taco Stacks for the shout out and um, for getting all of you lovely viewers to come over to my channel and see what I'm about. It is greatly appreciated. So until next time, for me and Bessie, have a great week, weekend, day, night, and we will see you later. Bye.